Hello, welcome to the video for what is the main material post process material property. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. This should be a quick little video. By default, when you are using materials, it will be the material domain surface. If you need to make a custom post process material, then you would change this over to the post process material domain. Now, one thing you may not be aware of if you're doing that is the order and when post-processing is applied in the post-process chain. When you change this material domain to post-process, the post-process material properties will unlock. This determines the blendable location as well as the priority for this material when this blendable is added. You have the after tone mapping, before tone mapping, before translucency, and then replacing the tone mapper itself completely. And then you have a blendable priority with the higher numbers basically getting priority if there are things that use the same blendable location at the same time. So if you are making a surface post-process material and you're having issues such as it showing up correctly, maybe it's not having the correct blending or it's in the wrong place, you need to make sure you're using the post-process material property, it's a lot of P's, correctly and make sure it's in the correct order based on where you want to appear during the post-processing itself. So that's it. That is all the post-process material property section is. It simply determines what, what location this blendable will be inserted during post-processing, and then a priority if you have more than one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.